Motorized scooters, they're zipping all over Baltimore, and a proposal tonight wants to put some penalties riding incorrectly, and they want to put the penalties on this. That's right. The Department of Transportation had City Council introduce a bill that would make going over the speed limit or driving on sidewalks an offense that could cost you hundreds of dollars or even land you in jail. WMAR 2 News' Eddie Kadem tells us what the proposal would mean for the future of scooters in the city. The cold isn't stopping Hack Jin Kim from enjoying a ride by the harbor. They're fun on a bun. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, man, they're fun on a bun. I like them. He's just one of many people you'll see using the dockless vehicles all around the city. Some people love them and some want them gone. The City Department of Transportation asked City Council to introduce a bill that would fine people up to $1,000 with 30 days in jail for riding down a sidewalk in some areas or going over the allotted 15 miles an hour. I think it seems kind of, uh, what's the word, uh, frivolous. Yeah. Uh, um, it seems like time and resources could be spent elsewhere, but also making sure people obviously are riding safely is an important thing. Council President Jack Young agrees. He believes there should be regulations, but the bill needs to be tweaked before he'll consider it. I don't want to criminalize any more, um, you know, citizens in Baltimore. Um, you know, we have all kinds of laws that criminalize people. We don't want to keep doing that because then people need to find jobs and they have these little things on their record and they can't get employed. So I'm, I'm against criminalizing anybody. The big question, who would enforce these laws in a city dealing with its fair share of other crimes? You know, maybe our traffic enforcement officers, they write tickets now. Maybe they'll be the ones that, that does that. Or maybe we could have, um, you know, um, the police assist, you know, when they see it. But um, right now we haven't really figured that out yet. So that's something I guess we all gonna have to sit down and figure out who's really going to do the enforcement of this. In Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.